today's video is all about two very important items that you may overlook in this game that will make you an insane amount of money. I'm going to show you how exactly it works. The first item here is the Emerald Carpet Moss. It looks just like this right down here. It's a lot easier to see when it's nighttime because it has a nice bright glow. You can see it from a distance during the day. That glow effect is a lot harder to see and because it's green it blends in with the grass. So hunt these at night mostly. Now you may pick this up and you're like, well this thing isn't really worth much. It's only worth 18 gold. And uh, interesting enough, this is one of the items in the entire game that you cannot buy from a vendor, not even with metals. The second item, and I'll show you where to get these items here in just a bit where you can find them. The second item is this kind of purplish flower you're going to find. It looks like this. It's called the Crystal Lake Lotus. And you may be thinking that this one's not a big deal either. These flowers are only worth 20. It's not a lot. But combined, they make one of the fastest things to craft in the game. That game it, Not only does it give you insane cooking experience, it also gives you really, really good money returns. I'm just going to pick up this uh, Crystal Lake Lotus real quick. Let me show you what we're going to turn these two items into. You should never, ever, ever sell these two items raw. Stock, stock up on them as much as possible. Let me show you where to find them, and then I'm going to talk about what you're going to turn them into. Uh, but also, just a, just a note, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, don't go out of your way to just only farm these items, alright? Like, if you're out here in this area and you're hunting or you're doing a quest or something, always, always go slightly out of your way to pick these up. But do not make it, you know, a farming run that you're only going to pick up the purple flowers and the moss because that's not the best gold per hour. I have other videos on my channel that will show you much more efficient gold per hour methods. But if you just happen to be out and about and you see these, oh, just always pick them up because they will pay dividends later. First off, let me show you where these things spawn. And this is paleomaps.com. This is uh, obviously the green little circle here is the Emerald Moss and the purple flower is the Crystal Lake Lotus. So this is the Kilma Village map. This is the first map you start out on. And you just go all the way south to the coastline and then you follow the coast all the way west. And uh, one trick that you can do is once you reach this western area, just log out of the game and then log back in. It'll give you a new server, you know, with new spawns. Loot everything, head to the east coast, loot everything. Log out, log back in, and so on and so forth. And that is a really, really, really good way to farm these. But, like I said earlier, you should be farming other things, not just these two items. So, like I said, you should be combining this with other farms like mining, or fishing, or even hunting. And uh, that's also bug hunting. You can get a lot of cheap bugs here to make fertilizers with if you want. But uh, always, always, always make sure you pick up the flower and the moss. Very, very important. So to get the recipe we'll need, you'll need Einhar, which is the fishing robot of the game. And uh, he's he's almost always here at Fisherman's Lagoon. For whatever reason right now, he's sleeping. I didn't know that he actually slept. Uh, but you only need like level 3 or level 4 fishing to learn the recipe. Maybe level 5. You can get that really, really early on. Let me show you what we're going to go craft. Well, uh, I encountered an interesting bug where my island has randomly, not island, but my housing area has merged with someone else's. This is so trippy. Like, this is... <laughs> Who did I merge with? Why are there fences over my farmland? And whose farmland is this? Under my machines, what's going on? All right, this is how it's supposed to look. Weird, I have that, never seen that bug before. Super unusual. Anyway... Once you go to Einhard, you fish up a bit, you've learned the recipe. This is where you cook it, at the campfire. That's right, a lot of people don't realize you can cook new stuff at the campfire. The fisherman's brew is what we're going to be making here. And let me show you a few reasons why this thing is so great. Alright, so the value if we were to sell this carpet moss is 18 gold. And if we sell this, it's 20 gold. That's 38 gold. Look, look at this. We make five of these brews, it takes five seconds. That's why I got two campfires, so we can double cook. And that one here with the little uh, golden star, and also that one with the golden star, those are quality uh, crafts, so I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. But first, we need to craft one that isn't exactly quality. We need a normal one, you know, not a, hey, I got lucky and uh, <laughs> made a good one. Okay, there we go. We got a normal one. Let's grab uh, another quality. All right. Hey, lucky me. Uh, streamer luck, right? Okay, so 
a regular fisherman's brew has a value of 19, right? But this is where it gets funny. You craft five at a time. So the real value is 95. So you take 18 and 20, that's 38. I'll even show you on the calculator, all right? Um, let's pop up a calculator here. We're going to take this value, 95. This takes five seconds. 95 and then minus, what is this value? 18. And then we're going to subtract once more, 20. We just profited 57 gold in five seconds. But it's even better <laughs> because... Remember, we can craft quality ones, right? So these are 28 each when they are quality. So 28 times 5, 140. All right, and then we're going to subtract 18. And then we're going to subtract 20. And, well, not 20 point. We profit 102 whenever it crafts a quality. And, uh, you know, this is why we're picking them up. These things are so easy to craft and so easy to do. And they're going to make you an insane amount of money. And I'll show you exactly just how much money you can make how fast. So there's a few things that I want you to look at. I have a timer on the screen. And in the top left, that little harvesting icon will change to a cooking icon. Because whenever we cook these, we are getting cooking experience. And we're actually going to be getting quite a lot. Right? If I were to go in here and cook a big meal using multiple stoves and a whole bunch of ingredients... I'm not, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm gonna get the same experience by cooking these little fisherman brews, and uh, that is amazing. So what we're going to do is, I have quite a lot of these ingredients, and um, I don't know if maybe I'll cook like 50. I don't know how many I'm gonna cook. I'm just gonna cook a whole buttload of them, and uh, I'm gonna speed up the footage in editing for you guys. But you can see it in you know sped up real time. I'm gonna start the timer and let's get cooking. Three, two, one, let's go. So I did make a few mistakes with menuing. I accidentally clicked the grilled fish button a few times. This is because the make button gets stuck and you have to exit the menu and reopen it. But then it defaults back to the fish. So if you're wondering why you see grilled fish on there a few times, that's why. It's just me being uh, bad at the menus. That's all. Anyway, um, this is a really, really good um, way to uh, refine these two items into a lot of gold. And there it is, 8 minutes, 47 seconds, and we have damn near a full inventory of, uh, of these Fisherman's Brews. Now, I accidentally messed up a few times. Looks like I messed up four times and made some grilled fish. That was my uh, failure at menuing. But, um, hey, we have, uh, you know, five in here already to kind of make up for that, so we'll go with that. Let's see how much we made in 8 minutes. Let's throw all these in there. Let's see how much gold this is worth. Also, I leveled the t almost ten and a half fish, uh, of cooking right there. This is eleven thousand three hundred eighty-five gold. That is pretty damn good for eight minutes. That's uh, <laughs> very very good actually. I don't need these grilled fish, so they can go in there too. But yes, uh, absolutely, fisherman's brew is the way to go if you have a bunch of moss laying around and those purple uh, flowers. From my understanding, the only other thing that these two ingredients are used for in this game currently are furniture and decorations, like the purple flowers used as a dye, and you can make carpets out of the carpet moss. But when you craft furniture in this game, you cannot vendor it or sell it. So you cannot make gold with uh, furniture. And your early and mid game is all about making gold to afford more machines and... Uh, more farmland to make you more gold and to get more storage and more holding space, more bag space, and so on and so forth. And then the end game is spending all your gold uh, on furniture and decorations. But there you go, guys. This uh, this was a really, really, really nice way to get some gold. 11,600, well, without the, the fishies, it's like 11,000 in, in less than nine minutes, basically. And, and just pick up those damn flowers and pick up the moss when you see them. Come here, level up your cooking, turn them into just free money. And then as far as this product goes, all it does is increase minor fishing save zone size boost. And all that is, for those that don't know the game or haven't played the game or aren't really sure of how the game works, the size boost is the little parentheses, the safety box, whatever you want to call it, um, that is whenever you do the fishing mini game. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm just throwing a random bobber in a pond here. But there is, you see those two green things? I'll turn them red for you. All it does is very, very slightly increase the size of this so that you have more room uh, to fish in. And it's, it's not worth drinking or using. I'd rather have the gold. 
But thank you so much for watching my video. I'm Soul Benji. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Please leave a like on the video. It really helps out. Uh, and uh, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be pumping a lot of videos out about this game. And you don't want to miss them. That's for sure. I read every comment because I have no friends and no social life. I literally sit here all day playing games and refreshing my YouTube most recent comment section so I can just talk to people. That's all I do with my life. So please, please, please subscribe. And I'm so close to 100k. Please make my dreams come true. I just want to get 100k subs before I die. With that said also, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. And here's the thing with uh, with my videos. If you don't click the right side, usually something bad happens. So today's bad happening is you're gonna you're gonna spill your drink. If you don't click the video on the right side of your screen, you're going to spill your drink. It'll happen.